Hey Falcons, and thank you for tuning in with us today. I'm Ben. And I'm Sarah. It's been a while since we've seen you, thanks to the madness of the snow days and Valentine's, but we're glad to be back. Although we did have a mini winter break, Nation Ford couldn't be busier preparing for the upcoming spring events. This week, Annie Gets Your Gun approaches opening night, and Mr. Revels gives us the inside scoop on the film and fiction class. All that and much more on this week's episode of the NAFO News. Hey, I want some. No, get your own Dunkin' Donuts. Wait, you mean that's not Krispy Kreme? Does it matter? Of course it does. There's not even a difference. Let's head over to Natalie at Nation 4 to see what students prefer. <laughs> Do I get another one? Wait, I can just try it? Okay. I do not want to do this. Sports Center coverage of this. Why are you thinking about the same time? This one. Oh, oh yeah! I, I like this one. This one's better. Okay. Okay. That one? Oh. Done that, done that? The one on the right. Yeah. Okay. This one. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I get to keep these? See, I told you. Whatever. You're not always right. Well, at least I'm always fashionable. You know, that reminds me of another segment we have for this week. He's not afraid of letting himself go, if he could. His shirts never wrinkle. He once stole something, only to find it was another man's woman. His leadership is so compelling, even his authorities submit. If he were to punch you in the face, you would have a strong urge to thank him. He is the classiest man in the world. I don't always dress up, but when I do, I prefer bow ties. Stay classy, my friends. I wonder what teachers we have would wear bow ties. Mr. Walker, Coach Allen, Mr. Wright? No. <laughs> Mr. Revels? I'm not sure, but he does have some cool information about his film and fiction class for next year. Let's check in with him after the break. I can see you breathing. Hey guys, I'm Caroline. And I'm Hannah. And we're rising seniors on the Nation 4 dance team. If you're interested in trying out for the 2014-2015, there will be an informational meeting on Tuesday, March 25th in the media center. Tryout clinics are Monday, March 31st through Thursday, April 3rd at 4 o'clock in the multi-purpose room. Prior dance training is highly recommended. We hope to see you there. Hey everyone, Emily Hoffman here to remind you that opening night for the spring musical Annie Get Your Gun is next Thursday, March 6th. Be sure to check out the posters around the school for more information and come to support your drama department. Fill up those auditorium seats and enjoy the show. Annie Get Your Gun is the love story of Annie Oakley and Frank Butler. He discovers that Annie Oakley is an awesome sure shot even though she's a female which was unheard of at the time. So they pin up Annie Oakley against Frank Butler and Annie ends up winning and they talk it over and they ask Annie to join their show and then we'll see what happens. Hey Falcons, it's Natalie here with a special announcement. The Fort Mill Middle School Athletic Booster Club will be hosting a 5K fundraiser on Saturday, March 29th at 9 a.m. All the proceeds will go to supporting the Middle School Athletic Booster Club. Uh, yeah, what I liked about Mr. Revels from a fiction class was the fact that we got to watch movies every single day um, and they span from very early movies from like the 1930s to recent and he taught us basic and advanced filming techniques that even 
filmmakers today use in their movies? Every day in the class is um, basically uh, kids come in and we get settled and uh, then we watch uh, whatever film we're working on at the moment. Films like The Empire Strikes Back, um, Alien, 2005 War of the Worlds, stop motion animation film called The Fantastic Mr. Fox, a DC animated film called The Dark Knight Returns, Some Like It Hot. Uh, some of the films are modern, uh, some of them are older, so it's a pretty good cross-section of films. It was really fun. He's also really, he's really funny, and we learned a lot about film, and it makes you appreciate film more. There sure is a lot going on at the school this week. Oh yeah, you're getting ready for the Autism Awareness Week at school, right? That's right. Here's an exclusive video with Miss Patty Mercer to educate you more about autism. When I was in high school, A meant honor roll. A was good. It meant awesome. It represented the very best. How would you feel if everybody got invited to a party and you didn't get that invitation? Or if everybody understood the punchline of a joke, but you didn't? That's what it feels like to live life on the autism spectrum when the letter A represents something very different. And what's really frightening is it's the fastest growing childhood disability right now. You really have to rely on doctors, parents, and caregivers, and teachers to help you understand what autism is. And that's why it's so important to support the one piece at a time March 3rd through 7th. You can purchase a t-shirt, you can buy a puzzle piece, or you can do both. This year, you've got an opportunity to show unity, to help raise awareness, one piece at a time at Nation Ford High School. Your chance to make a positive difference. Thanks. Even though the school year is slowly beginning to wind up, the NAFO News team still has a few surprises. Hey everyone, it's Natalie again, here to talk to you about a special new opportunity we'll be offering at Nation Board. The NAFO News will now be accepting your ideas through our suggestion box located outside of Mr. Walker's room. Jot down any fun, interesting, educational, and of course, school appropriate ideas you may have, and who knows, maybe you'll see yours on the next show. That's it for today's show, Falcons. Have a safe weekend, and we'll see you next time on the NAFO News. <laughs> Come from that girl. <laughs> Dance until the world Walker. Wait. <laughs> yes, I'm skilled. Snowball Fight 2K14 exclusive.